A common problem MDS dentists who are planning to shift to UK face is they are forced to work as a general dentist after clearing their quarry or MDS. There is a route through which you can work as a specialist out there if you have completed your MDS in India. That route is getting a fellowship with Royal College. So if you're planning to do your MDS or have done your MDS and are shifting to UK, then this is a video which you should watch. To explain us the entire process, today we have with us Dr. Praveen Rajesh. After completing his master's, Dr. Praveen Rajesh went on to do his M. Endo from the Royal College UK. He runs a state-of-the-art clinic in Chennai known as Micro Smiles. Other than that, he is also the reader in the Department of Conservative and Endodontics in the SBV University. Hi Dr. Praveen, thank you for taking your time and joining us today. Let's get straight to the point. The first question is, why did you do M. Endo and why Royal College of England? Okay, that's a great question and many people ask me this. Well, uh, right from my childhood, my uh, role models were a few doctors and uh, they always spoke highly about the Royal College and uh, they said it's one of the best institutes in the world and uh, stuff like that. So when I became a dentist and uh, not an MBBS doctor, I felt, you know, we can't be a part of the Royal College and stuff. But after my MDS, I found that, you know, Royal College has uh, some fellowship programs for uh, MDS people, uh, especially uh, all the clinical specialities have a program uh, at, in the Royal College. And as we all know, Royal College is one of the uh, finest and oldest institutes for surgeons across the world. And they have an uh, international uh, reputation and recognition, which is undisputed. So uh, in short words, uh, you know, it gives you, it gives a surgeon uh, an international recognition if they are associated with the Royal College. Yeah. Understood. Uh, so is this a replacement to the LDS or an ORE exam? Um, right. So LDS uh, is actually conducted by the Royal College of Surgeons. ORE is conducted by the GDC. Both of them are, either one of them are required for you to practice in the UK. So you have to have one of these exams cleared if you want to practice in the UK. Uh, M and O gives you an uh, uh, ability to register yourself as a specialist in the UK. To touch patients or to really work on patients, you must clear ORE or LDS. This is not a replacement. Understood. So the best thing about this exam is if I'm a MDS, okay? Now I cannot directly work as a specialist out there. So after clearing my ORE or LDS, if I do the M endo, M perio or M prosto, I can work as a specialist. So this is a route to work as a specialist in UK without doing masters there if you already have your MBS in India. Correct? Exactly. Exactly. Got it. Uh, so in short words, uh, you're basically saving those few years and few crores of rupees in doing specialization in the UK by taking I this route. Got it. Uh, now, what are the application requirements? If I want to plan and join it tomorrow, how do I apply and what's the process? So the application is very simple. They open the online portals for these exams thrice a year. Uh, the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh opens it um, for three exams in March, September and November. And uh, they usually open it around uh, three to six months before this exam. And the, the window is quite short. As soon as they open, you must, you know, go and apply for it. It's a very short application process. They ask your basic demographic details, um, your uh, education qualification. They might ask you to upload your uh, uh, basic degree certificates. And uh, of course, you need a credit card to pay their fees. Understood. So that's about it. So now I've registered. What is the exam pattern and how should I prepare for it? Right. So... Uh, once you register, you will be getting a mail from them uh, requesting uh, your certificates or sometimes even uh, your logbooks. Sometimes they could ask that. Um, once uh, you know um, your uh, once you've completed the registration, uh, you would have about uh, four months of preparation time um, before the exam, and 
um, you want to know how to prepare for the exam? Yes. How do I prepare and what is the exam pattern? Uh, okay. So preparation generally requires uh, the similar amount of preparation uh, like how you did for MDS final exam. Okay. okay. And uh, you start off with your basic books and stuff and uh, go on to articles, evidence-based dentistry. And along with your specialty, you also need to study allied specialties. Uh, if, like, for example, if you're a prosthodontist, you need to know endo and perio as well. You need to know, have a general uh, idea of general dentistry as well, because they need you to have an undergraduate level of knowledge about other specialties. So your preparation should revolve around all these things. Understood. Uh, now, what is the exam pattern? Okay, so uh, the exam is of uh, three to four days in length. It's it's It happens in one single stretch. Okay. The first day is a theory paper. Um, actually, two theory papers. Paper one is in the morning and paper two is in the afternoon. They contain um, MSAs or multiple short answers. Basically, they'll give you a case scenario and they will ask you four to five questions regarding that case scenario. And okay. you need to answer it in points. Very similar to short notes that we write in our exams. And the day two will be your long cases, which is very similar to OSCEs, where uh, you'll be given a set of patient uh, photographs and uh, records and maybe x-rays, and you need to um, uh, make notes out of it. And uh, you will be asked a few questions regarding this uh, case for about 15 minutes. Okay, So okay. this happens four times. Uh, in on day two and day three. Day three and day four would usually contain uh, short cases only, where uh, which is very similar to the spotters that we do in our uh, country, where we'll be shown certain things and we'll be uh, expected to uh, answer immediately. It's typically a, a radiograph and they will ask you to interpret the radiograph, tell me the diagnosis, treatment plan, etc. So, you know, so, so it's that's basically how they... a very case oriented, clinically oriented yes. examination. So just yes. knowing your theory is not enough. You need to prepare in that specific manner, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now, what is the cost of giving these exams? Um, the uh, M Mendo, M Morto, all of them, they roughly cost about thousand four hundred to thousand six hundred pounds. Okay, uh, roughly so... a one and a half lakhs in our country. Yeah. Oh, so that's very great. So if anyone is a specialist out here, once they clear their OR or LDS, they can just spend around two lakhs or three lakhs preparing and clearing this exam, and then they can work as a specialist. So it's a very good route for them, basically. But what is the pass percentage? Pass percentage, uh, you know, it is quite low for uh, most of the exams. However, a few exams have a terribly high pass percentage. On an average, they are about 30 to 40 percent. Um, the ones that happen in the UK has usually around 90 percent pass percentage because okay. most of them uh, were trained in the UK who give the exam and uh, th they really are trained the way this exam is conducted, right? So they know how this exam goes. So and there is a high pass percentage there, yeah. So is there a difference in attempts allowed, like two attempts, three attempts, or I can give multiple attempts? How does it work? Uh, you can give up to four attempts. But okay. Generally, what we've seen is most 90% of the candidates won't take more than three attempts. It's okay. the max. Uh, yeah, very rarely we have seen more than that. Yeah, so that shouldn't be a thing to worry. Understood. Now, you told me about the preparation pattern in the UK is better. Okay. And I know you guys are trying to do something out similar to that. So how do you help them prepare for the entire process? Yeah, so um, our style of learning is quite different from the UK. In, in the UK, uh, they are exposed to problem-based learning. They have a lot of case discussions on a daily basis, which we unfortunately don't have. We rely more on theoretical learning. We, we have to mug up values and stuff and reproduce it in the exam. So uh, our training, uh, so what we've been doing since 2020 is uh, we've been helping uh, a lot of Indian students uh, give these exams by uh, showing them the right direction, uh, how to prepare, uh, what are the common areas that uh, the UK guys uh, like to you know, ask questions on and uh, what this problem-based learning is all about. We teach them how to uh, find the right evidence, how to filter out the right evidence, and what are the landmark articles for each topic? 
and uh, of course the repeat questions so you know uh, like any other exam this exam has a lot of repeats so we help them with few repeat questions so that you know you know they can score better so Understood. so my next question you to you is i am a periodontist from india and if i am planning to do m perio from royal college how can you help me i'm sure you're gaining a lot from this video so why not hit the like button because the guests out here have taken time to come and help you out and do you want to grow your career in dentistry then do not forget to subscribe to our channel hey great uh, question satish and you're really lucky because we have uh, begun our three month training for m perio students as well so this is going to be a weekend program where we take 3 uh, to 4 hours of lecture every week for 3 months by uh, some of the best uh, royal college faculty in the world uh, who are qualified uh, in prosto perio and endo our periodontist will be training you has is almost is a gold medalist uh, in her country and uh, she has completed her m perio recently and she is a wonderful teacher Uh, she'll be doing a lot of case discussions uh, she'll be giving you written mock papers as you know case discussions is the most critical component of this exam we'll be discussing several perio uh, scenarios and will be helping uh, you clearing uh, to attain the uh, you know level the uk candidates are and uh, we had a few candidates give exam this march and uh, Uh, if, if you wouldn't believe that 14 out of 14 candidates only four of them passed in the entire exam and out of the four two of them were our candidates wow so, that's great uh, so uh, this is a great news for all indians who think that you know they can't pass an uk exam uh, i i would probably say that you know we found the door uh, we we found the door and we we've, we've learned how to open it really great uh, it's amazing to see that you guys here are trying to raise the bar and help people who are planning to get this speciality uh, fellowship from royal college out there before we end one piece of advice to the young bds or mbas graduates who are watching it um so uh, you know i have a long advice so when i finished my mbas you know my thinking pattern were influenced by my seniors the people who uh, who i used to see as role models around me in a small circle and uh, i was even afraid to invest uh, on a rental basis even 20 to 25000 per month uh, you know like when you open a clinic you're afraid right so uh, my wife and a few well wishers they pushed me they uh, they told you know you can do this and i took one small step at a time and then i was surprised to see how easy things were and how wrong people were when somebody tells you that you know you can't invest so much on a clinic you why do you want to invest yourself after mbas you've studied so much why do you want to invest again on so many courses or why do you want another degree when someone says this don't take them seriously just laugh it out because you know you know there's something within you that will guide you and you know just listen to that uh because most people who have who are outstanding in their field today have never listened to what people have told around them they've always listened to their inner feeling and uh, you know i i feel most of us have this inner desire to do something great and different and uh, to you know be international and i feel this should be uh one of the first steps uh in in our career uh, immediately after mbs in fact the royal college exams are designed to be taken immediately after mbs so i would say all the post graduates start preparing for this uh right from the uh second or third year of your mbs it's the best time you have all the time in the world to study uh you might think you know you you have so much of work department work and stuff uh it's it's much lesser compared to the amount of work that you would get after the mds uh, your family your profession you need to balance everything out so it, uh pg time is the best time to study and of course even for people who have passed pg 10 years back uh, like i would like to give an example of my student dr kriti maroli she's from delhi she finished her mds uh, way back in 2011 and uh, she cleared her m endo in first attempt last year wow. 
Great. Then, and she studied for uh, about three to four months. Okay. And the last one month was her serious preparation. Okay. I know how she prepared. And she cleared in just one attempt. And let me tell you, if she can do it with her busy schedule, I think anybody can do it. So and, people uh, should get out of their excuses, have the right mindset and go straight. It is possible. And with your guidance, I'm sure they'll easily crack it. Absolutely. Thanks, Dr. Praveen, for your fabulous time here today. Thank you for coming and giving, sharing your knowledge with us. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Satish. Thank you for your time. And uh, I've been watching your YouTube channel. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm, uh, I'm so uh, jealous of all the BDS graduates out there because when I finished BDS, I, did, I couldn't find anything like this. Such a comprehensive guide for anybody looking for making a future or a career in dentistry. Uh, really hats off to you, Satish. You, you, uh, you know, uh, put in so much of effort to, uh, you know, make everything uh, into one platform. Get all the information around the world. It's it's pretty phenomenal. Great Thanks point. a lot. Thanks a lot for your kind words. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Satish. Thank you. Thank you. If you like this video, do not forget to check out the videos shown in the links above because you will get a lot of content from that as well. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dentist. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.